Hello and thanks for watching Best Math Tutors. I'm now going to go through the uh, foundation paper from 2019 from Edexcel, and this is paper one. I'm going to cover all the questions, so uh, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of these answers. So question one is write 180 minutes in hours. So what we need to know for that is that in one hour, we've got 60 minutes. So if we were to divide 180 divided by 60, that will give us the number of hours. And if we do that, 180 divided by 60, we get three because we can see three 60s go into 180. And so that gives us three hours. So that's our answer, for the first one. For the second question, we've got to write 0.73 as a percentage. And the easy way to convert a decimal which we've got here to a percentage is just move the decimal point two places to the right okay so if we've got the 0 0.73 then what we do we'll just take our decimal point here and we move it one two places so skip over two numbers and so that puts it after the three so what we've actually got is 73%. And that's our answer to the second question. Question three is actually a bod mass question, or bid mass, I should say. Um, it used to be called bod mass when I learned it. It's now referred to as bid mass. And this is to do with the order in which you do calculations. So the B stands for brackets. The I stands for indices, which is powers. And then the D is divide. M is uh, multiply. A is add and S is subtract. So what we've got to do in this question is we look at the order that they come in and on from the top, we do brackets before we do anything else. So what we do need to do is work out what's inside the bracket as the first thing there. We've got 10, and I'm gonna work out what's inside the bracket first. So three plus five is eight. And now we can do the multiplication one because that's the next thing that comes in the list. And so we're gonna go 10 times eight, and 10 times eight is equal to 80. So we've done that. The mistake that um, people might make is to go 10 times the 3, get 30, and then add a 5 on to get 35. Well, that would definitely be wrong. So what we need to do is start at the top of our bid mass list and work our way down. So we we'll do brackets first before we do the multiplication. Uh, question four, we've got to write down a prime number that's between 20 and 30. So a prime number is a number that is can only be divided by itself and one. So we could start at 20 and we could say, well, does 20 divide by any other numbers as well as 20 and one? And we can see that 20, we could actually write it as a factor pair and we could see what 20 could be two times 10. So that means both the two and the 10 will go into the 20. 21, if we can find any numbers that will divide into these and multiply to make 21, then it's no longer, it's not going to be a prime number. So we can see that three times seven will give us 21. So that's not a prime number and that's not a prime number. If we look at 22. Well, if we can think of any numbers which will divide into that, like we could say 11 times two would give us 22. That's not a prime number. Go to the next one. We can't actually think of any numbers that will divide into that apart from itself, 23 times one will give us a 23. So there's no other ones other than itself, 23 and one, that we will divide, that can divide into 23 there. So that one is a prime number. So we can say 23 for our answer there. Question five, 
got to find a number that's exactly halfway between 7 and 15. And the easiest way to do this is add them together and divide by 2. So if we do that, what we get is add them together, 7 plus 15 will give us 22. And then if we divide 22 by 2, what we'll get is 11. So that's the number that's exactly halfway between 7 and 15. Question 6 now. And um, we've got Harry is planning a holiday for four people for seven days. And the co these are the costs for each person. So we've got travel is 150. We've got the cost of a hotel for each day is 50. And we've got the cost of spending money for the total holiday that would be it's 250. We've got to work out the cost for four people for seven days. So let's work out the seven day cost here for one person. Well, the travel is still going to be the same, so that's going to be 150. But since the hotel is 50 pound for each day, we've actually got to go 50 times seven. And if we work that out, let's just do this up at the top here. So 50 times seven. So we can just say seven times zero is zero. Seven times five is 35. So five down, carry the three, and put it at the end, we write it there, 350. So that's the cost for um, seven days of hotel. And then we're going to add on also the cost for the spending money. Um, so that's 250 because that's for the seven the, for the full time that they're there. So we're going to add all these together. So 150 plus 350. Oops, 150 plus 350 plus 250. I do that in columns. And add up the zeros. I've got zero. Five plus five plus five is going to be 15. Write down the five. Carry the one into the next column. And one plus three plus two, that's six, plus the, uh, plus the one that I've carried makes seven. So that's the cost for one person. So what we're going to need to do, because we're looking for four people, is we've got to multiply that by four. So if we do that, and we've got 750. I'm going to do this in column multiplication times by four so four times zero is zero four times five is 20 write down the zero of the 20 carry the two into the next column four times seven is 28 and then carry add the two on that we've carried makes 30 so write down the zero of the 30 carry the three into the next column and because of each end that's it. That's three thousand. So that's our answer for that one. Three thousand pound for four people for seven days. So I'm going to carry on with all these questions. I'm just going to break it down a little bit into into chunks for the videos. And um, I hope that's been helpful. And uh, if it has, please like our video and subscribe to the channel so you can see the remaining part of the paper. Thanks for watching.